if I had to choose between an entrepreneur who was being opportunistic in a market segment um, and had a strong network in the valley, for example, to one who was completely passionate about the problem being solved in the market for the customer and needed to build the network, I'd probably bet on the one who was the outsider. I'm Chris Shipley. I'm the co-founder and CEO of Guidewire Group. And we are an international advisory firm that works with very early stage technology companies to help them grow their businesses better, faster. I was the executive producer of Demo uh, for a number of years. We did, uh, over those years, about 24 demo conferences and helped 1,500 companies launch their products. In 98, I made the decision that every company that would be on the demo stage would also be launching their product for the first time on the demo stage. And that really shifted the agenda from a broader industry focus to a startup focus. There were a lot of opportunists in the dot-com bubble, people who uh, simply found that the dot-com era was an opportunity to potentially build and flip a company and make a lot of money. I think the entrepreneurs we see today are I would say more genuine entrepreneurs. They're passionate about the technology they're creating. They're passionate about the ideas they're bringing to market. Finding an entrepreneur who brings that whole um, kind of emotional self to the table, that, that uh, uh, coupled with an intellectual drive and a real passion for what they're creating, to me, trumps even what they're creating. I think it's much better to take a, uh, an okay idea and make it great with a great team than it is to try to make a great idea real with a team that's not adaptable. Most of the entrepreneurs I know either have no clue what could go wrong or don't care or are going to go on an act of faith and build their businesses anyway. And I think those are the ones who, who do things that are impossible. While you do need to, as an entrepreneur and a founder and a leader of a, a startup company, need to be passionate and blind to the risks and failure be damned, I think you also have to be a realist and you have to recognize when the business is going a little sideways or needs a new focus or has to uh, step back and reevaluate. It is necessary to be part of a, a larger community to build a business. Uh, it doesn't necessarily mean you have to do it all yourself. And in fact, that modality of, damn it, I'm the founder, I'll do it myself, is more likely a failure mode than it is a success mode. If I look out to five years, I'd like to see a, a world that's kind of a little faster, but a lot smarter um, and a lot more well-connected.